Uh. And welcome everyone to episode 23 of the 1UP XP show. And this week, uh, something really cool. So, you know I'm a weatherman, and that's my main gig. But, you know, I also like video games. So, I found a storm chasing video game. The best of both worlds, right? We have a storm chaser. We also have video game. Mash them together. It's essentially like a tornado chasing simulator. So, me clam we get together we get in our trucks yeah we chase tornadoes twister style it's a lot of fun check it out that's where i'm heading baby oh that's right oh joe's <gasps> oh no it's hitting joe's i was gonna pick breakfast up there god dang it joe no get out of there joe it's coming down joe get out of the gas station Come on, you Dodge Ram. It just sucked me in. 160 mile an hour winds? Jeez. 174? 190? Oh my gosh, dude. It's massive. Oh, this, oh this, this is it. This is it. This oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy. This is it, dude. Joe, get out of the gas station! Oh my god! Oh my god, get out of here! I'm not done! Holy Jesus! The roar! It's moving north! All right, I'm on the road south of it. I'm in the field, directly in front of it. Be real careful. That is a s weather service has issued a tornado warning. Tornado warning. County, take cover now. Move into an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. All right, I'm gonna get in front of it. It's moving uh, right at you. Holy Jesus, this has to be a mile wide! I gotta get out of here! Oh! 
Dragon, switch directions. Do that or it's just sitting here. Wait, it's going the other way? What the heck? Okay. No way. All right, I'm gonna meet at the road. Oh, it's, it's, it might be switching again. It's blowing me all over the place. I think it's losing strength. We got debris.
to that thing. All right, I gotta get to Joe's. Oh, whoa! The wind's blowing me all over the road. Oh. So if you want to check that game out, it's called Storm Chasers. You can find it on Steam for PC. Pretty sure it's not available for anything that is uh, a console of any sort. Only because, one, the game company is very tiny. And two, they have not updated this game since it has come out. And it actually is a very fun game. Scientifically, it's actually pretty spot on for the majority of things in this game. When it comes to the weatherman side of things, I was like, this is actually pretty spot on. You get a radar. You also get a uh, wind gauge on top of your vehicle. You also get, um, you can buy probes. And then you also, you know, have the camera. You have the computer. Um, and all of the National Weather Service sounds and emergency alerts. I mean, like, it's spot on. Pretty good. Little Cloud Gaming. If you see this, update this game. Continue to make it. It's phenomenal. But coming up next on the 1UP XP Show, we've been touting all these for the past, past few weeks where we visit campuses, check out their esports program. This week, we head down to Adrian, Michigan. We sit down with Coach Rob, and we check out Siena Heights University. We'll have that right after the break. And welcome back, everyone, to the 1UP XP Show. And for the last few weeks, we've been taking you to college campuses across Michigan and showing you, one, their campus, but two, also showing you their amazing esports programs. And we've been to Ferris State last week. The week before that, we went to Northwestern Michigan College, NMC, and this week, we are going to a campus downstate, Adrian, Michigan. That's way down there. And it's a long trip, but worth it. I've never been to Siena Heights. Siena Heights University is gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. And their coach, cooler dude. I mean, Coach Rob is very inspirational. Heck of a man. And when I say he puts all of his soul into his job, I mean it. Check this out. We've arrived in Adrian. We've arrived at the campus of... Siena Heights, and we just did some drone footage. I have to say, this campus is gorgeous. It really is. The man, the myth, the legend, Coach Ra. Dude, this oh, is you know, this is tight. This is mm -hmm. Thursday. I did not know I liked podcasts as much as I do until, until I started you start driving. driving a lot. Of then you're like, you know what? Until he was actually pretty legit. Yeah, until he was on mine. Yeah. I got it. Dang. Yeah. There we go. I got him. So we just talked. Actually, we got we we're adding Fortnite. So we have nine titles oh, like nice. across the board. Um, but for the spring, we'll compete in uh, Hearthstone, Smash, and Rock. Oh, you have a Hearthstone team. We do. Nice. Yeah. That's They're actually that's, that's not it's not very common when you it's come not. to college. Kids now, they are all focused on like the LeBron James effect. Oh yeah. Right? So it's, it's in every in every sport, it's in every university. Like you get one player that's really good, that's really top notch. They're gonna get two or three that wanna come. Like just to play with them. Yeah. I think you're able to kind of understand your teammates a lot better because you're you become that family, that family atmosphere is super apparent. Like, so when you're playing with teammates, but you're across campus or not in the same area, you understand them from a certain level. Right. But then when you're with them, like, constantly every day, each and every day, you are able to kind of understand those nuances without having to speak so much. You have more, you have more of that responsibility. Like, you can't let that person down. 100 I can't, like, you're sitting next to that person. The last thing you want to do is let that guy down. 100 percent yeah, You get flamed on line, it's like, whatever, all right. right. But you get yelled at right next to you, all right. All right. Feel that a yeah, I got to get my butt in gear type of thing. Well, I think it's super important for people to understand, like, everybody's at a different stage. So you just got to kind of be not content, but understand that your stage is just, it excel, it accelerates and it decelerates at your pace. This program has been around for four years, but this is the first year. Like, let's be honest. This is this is fourth year. I'm the fourth director. Like, this is your one. And you have big plans. You got, you got big plans, man. So I, I can't, like, my commitment level, like their commitment level has to be just as high, if not higher as mine. If it's not, we'll figure out something else for you. <laughs> you commute two hours here. Yeah, yeah. And then two hours back yeah. to Elkhart, Indiana. Yeah. That's easy. Is that yeah. driving you crazy yet? I love it. 
for me especially, being here, running a collegiate program for the first year, I don't really have a lot of time to sleep. No. You can't, like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And I'm not, and that's not to say I'm chasing. No, that's just coach life in general. Yeah. When I first started, I was like, okay, I gotta chase program X, Y, and Z. Right. Find out real quick, you can't. No. You can't, it's impossible. You'll never chase them. So now I'm focusing on chasing what I want Sienna Heights to be. I literally had a player, like one of my actual players, like three weeks ago said he was scared of me. I'm like, yo, what? Like, I'm smiling literally all the time. He was like, no, you're just so intense. I'm like, perfect. I, I freaking like that. Like, because that means you're gonna draw people that think that same way. All right, so we got done with Coach Rob. As expected, as proven, full of energy. The dude is so inspirational. And it's even more, like, I knew that from day one. But when you meet him and talk to him in person, I mean, it's just raised to that next level. Awesome dude, awesome campus, great program there, and I'm still putting my money on them as a program to watch out for in the coming years. Look, what can you say? Uh, again, my huge thanks to Sienna Heights for having us, and my huge thanks to Coach Rob for taking us around and sitting down with us and talking. Uh, again, the man is inspirational. Um, there's not many people in this industry that works as hard as this man. And again, nothing but the best for Sienna Heights. And I really think, I can't say it enough, I really think this will be the school to watch when it comes to esports in the near future. Huge thank you again to Josh Monroe, who is putting all these packages together, who has shot all of the footage. Man is also very good at his job. And uh, we'll have one more next week. Oakland University, as we head down and check out Carleone's program down there in Oakland. And it's going to be a good one. And then hopefully down the road, we can do a few more of these. I think we have some big plans down the road. We'll be right back after this break as we have some new things around the corner for you. This is called the headline segment. It's it's just news around esports. We'll have that for you right after the break. And welcome back, everyone, to the 1UP XP show. Kind of a new segment here as uh, we're calling this the headline segment. Essentially, anything that has happened here since the last episode, we're going to have some headlines for you. And some things have happened this week, not only in esports, but in video games in general. Usually, January is a very quiet month when it comes to video games and any news that comes out about video games. Well, so far, January's been hopping. Uh, first off, we start with Grand Valley State. Now, Grand Valley State, we've had on the podcast. I've worked with Chris uh, Bilski, their coach, uh, for a while now. But they just opened their new, essentially, arena. And it's on campus. And they just had a big old grand opening for it. Uh, which was super cool this past Tuesday. I was invited, unfortunately could not make it, uh, but we did get some thoughts on Chris uh, and the brand new center for him. The opening of the Laker Esports Center. This is a quote from Christopher Bilski himself. It said, the opening of the Laker Esports Center represents the start of a new era for esports here at Grand Valley. The energy and excitement on display this past Tuesday only is a perfect example of the passion and interest in esports here on campus and I can't wait to continue to build upon this foundation. Now, it is a big thing for uh, the Lakers to have this on their campus and really opens a new door for them to start uh, possibly getting into more the varsity role of things. And what the, is down the road for Grand Valley is nothing but up. But it is uh, they have drop-in hours for anybody on campus. And again, the Laker Esports Center runs from Monday to Friday, noon to 6 p.m., Saturdays 3 p.m. to 11 p.m., Sundays 3 to 6. And from what I've heard, uh, if you do want to catch Coach Bilski, he uh, spends quite a bit of time in that new uh, eSports Center. So check it out. That is big news for Grand Valley. And again, if you have any hopes or dreams of doing anything eSports, Grand Valley is uh, definitely a huge spot to check out, not to mention many campuses downstate as well as up here in Northern Michigan. Now, the other big thing that we are going to uh, touch on briefly, I'm, I'm thinking that this might even be its own segment down the road, Xbox, Microsoft, they purchased blizzard activision this past week for 68.7 billion dollars yeah let, let that sink in a little bit 68.7 billion dollars now uh with all the reports that have come out there's a few good things about this in my personal opinion and you can read the articles and weigh in yourself but what i've found with this is one activision and blizzard is a huge company and has been under a lot of fire recently and that, that's putting it lightly but I think Microsoft can go in there and really change things around and make it something that it, it needs to be and get back to be. Um, but again, this is huge for video games. There's a lot of titles in Activision Blizzard, and I'm not even talking about company or games. I'm talking about companies 
You have Major League Gaming in there. You have some of the biggest titles in esports in there. So could Microsoft change this and make it easier to work with high schools and collegiate esports in making leagues or say Overwatch or some of their other, other titles like Call of Duty? They are now owned by Xbox. So that is huge, especially when it comes down the road with their game pass and how you get these games on day one of release. Are you going to have to pay straight up $60 for these games anymore? Who knows? But it's big news and it shook up the gaming world here this past week. And we'll have to see what else uh, Microsoft has up their sleeve here in the coming future. But we have one more segment left and we will talk uh, a little bit more about what's coming up next week in this last segment of the 1UP XP show. Don't go anywhere. And that does it for us this week on the 1UP XP show episode 23 in the books. Now, coming up next week, we have one more campus visit for you before we do a few more. Um, but uh, this one, we're going to wrap up with Oakland University. Carl Leone, who we've had on the podcast and who we have for some future things, takes us around uh, what is a pretty amazing place. Playtime. In fact, they don't play on campus just yet. They actually play in a professional esports building uh, that is housed by the Renegades. The Renegades are a professional esports organization down in Detroit. They play and practice inside that facility, and they're also hoping to bring in high schools to have them practice and play. So you have high school, college, as well as pro. Really great blueprint, and I cannot wait to show you our trip down there to uh, Pontiac area and uh, check out the oakland university digs where they play and also practice and we also sit down with one of the rocket league guys that was undefeated throughout the fall season jay cubed thank you for being here appreciate it be good stay safe take care i'll see you guys all next week